to Mary Skelter too. With me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. Uh, I know what's about to come up next, and you guys would have uh, seen all my beautiful reactions in the event that's about to happen next if it wasn't for my software. Apparently, it glitched during one of my recordings, and I'm a little. But it's okay. Don't worry about it, and I'll do all the beautiful voice acting and all the good stuff, and I'll I'll let you guys know where I left off. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna like try to fake reactions or anything like that to something I already know is happening. So let's get to it. And if you guys like this video or this series, then don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Or subscribe to the channel. Here they come. Leave it to me. That was close. Finally back here. It felt like forever getting here. I'm something. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, wrong person. Hmm, something isn't right. Really? Oh wait, you're right. I don't recall the place being in such a bad state, Atsu. Isn't it because you girls were fighting the Martians? I don't think that's the cause of all this. It looks like Force Grave and what a lone battle can do to rampage through here. Yeah, um, I believe that was Atlas in the Nightmare. Itsuki's right. I'm quite sure we didn't cause this much destruction in our battles. What in the world happened? I, I, I'm not getting good vibes from this place. Don't worry, Hickory. I'm with you. I don't sense other another presence here, but we better keep an eye out on our surroundings. Let's keep our guards up. Everyone! The Liberated District! Finally a Ah, look at this nice casual music. The fresh air of freedom! That took forever! I must say, it feels very good to be in a familiar. Let's go and let everyone know we're back! Wait, something's not right. Smoke! This isn't looking good. Let's go! Anybody here? Hello? Is anyone around? What the hell happened? <laughs> Wait, Utsu! Stay away from here! It could be dangerous! I can't leave you here! Yeah, now's the time we work together as a team. What's with her? Are you sure you want to come with us? I can guarantee you that there's nothing good ahead. 
course I'll come. I am your friend after all. Thank you. I'm counting on you. Hey, Otsu. Everyone, calm down. Please be safe, everyone. Haru! Miko! What? Why? This can't be happening. Haru! Miko! Haru's eyes were gouged out, and Miku's limbs are torn apart. They don't look like them at all, but my mind is telling me that it's them. No matter how I look at things, they're dead. Horrible way to die. What? No! No! <laughs> Who would have done such a thing? Now calm down, Otsu. Whoever did this is still nearby. How can you tell? I'm guessing, based on the bleeding and the warmth of the corpses, it could be possible that... Over there! Otsu! I can't leave her alone. Everyone, wait here! I'm coming too. It's dangerous no matter where we are! No! Whoever or whatever caused all this is nearby! Let me say that it's more dangerous to leave the weak out here in the open. But she's worrying the heck out of me! We're going to lose Otsu if we keep arguing like this, so I will protect everyone here! Thanks, Hamlin. I'm counting on you. You there! Get away! Y'all can't see me, but I'm shaking my head at this creature right now. Ugh. Even the second time seeing it, it's just... Ugh. <laughs> Woo. These uh, nightmares just get uglier and uglier. Damn it. I can't even avenge my dad and mom. <laughs> Mr. Kanawaki! I'm coming! With its power, I can't hear it. I can't even find an opening. You're telling this man to get a hold of himself, but he's been disemboweled. So pretty much his organs are just like outside of his body right now and get a hold of yourself when you get out of here. Do you not see my organs just kind of like laying out in the open? Hmm. That one there is quite formidable. Gotta get out of here! Yeah, we better run while we still can. I've never seen a nightmare like that before. You all stand back. I will take care of it. I'm joining too. I'll make it pay for what it's done. I have to be careful. It's way stronger than anyone I've ever be fought careful, before. Be careful, One wrong move and it's over. Skip event? No. Why do I want to skip the event? It's an event! It's running away? <laughs> Foolish! Turning its back on us! Hamlin, let it go. You don't need to go after it. Hmm. If you say so. Our top priority is to make sure that everyone's safe. Whew. What a relief. What the hell happened? What's going on? 
I was supposed to come back with a new bloodman who would join us. There are no happy faces to put us back. What am I supposed to do? Mr. Kanawaki, please! Wake up! No! Why? Why was everyone killed? Why? Why? I can't take this anymore! Everyone I cared about... Dead! I don't want this! The Little Mermaid? Damn it. What a sight. My princess. Otsu. You taught me that we should hug each other when things are going bad. So now, it's my turn. Otsu. All I could do was to embrace Little Mermaid crying in sorrow. How much time has passed? Everyone was speechless. Little Mermaid calmed down and went searching the area from end to end. I fear for the worst, and it became a reality. There were no survivors. Every human, every animal, everything with life was killed as if in sheer hatred. I can only assume that a nightmare I saw did all this. And now, I sigh with relief that we didn't fight it after the destruction it caused. If we fought, someone would have died. We all could have died. To be safe, we sealed the past of the city streets where we believed the nightmare ran off to. The only areas that connect the Liberty District, Helmless Cave, and the Graveyard. We should be safe for now. Dawn's structures were mostly toppled and reduced to rubble. It, we can't search inside, and we couldn't find the assumed body of our professor. I'm sure he would have offered us a glimmer of hope, even in the darkness we're in. I would have wanted to wallow in sadness, but doing so would do nothing for our cause. At least, that I knew. <laughs> I suppose this is what it truly means to be in despair. Atsu, you rest a bit, you hear? Strange. I can't sleep. I don't even feel tired. Maru, shouldn't you be beside Hikari? The village you came from was, was probably, um... You can't tell it to me straight. Oh, you can tell it to me straight. Without doubt, the place is probably destroyed. Kaede is with Hikari now. Sometimes it's best to let girls have a one-on-one. -on -one. I keep pressing that button! What about Little Mermaid? Well, she asked to be left alone for a while, so I decided to honor her request. If only there was something good to talk about now! Well, we couldn't even find Professor's body too. And after all that searching... What's with all the long faces? I mean, it's hard to face a smile on your face now, you know? Mm -hmm. But being down like this isn't going to change when it's which she has a point, it won't. Now is the time we stand proud. We must let our passion flame and begin our retaliation. That's not gonna happen now. Mm -hmm. No here, no there. So what will make you come back to your normal self then? You're all alive, aren't you? You can do anything if you're alive. Man, look at Helen just giving up the possible vibes to the group. You, you got that from a manga, didn't you? Indeed, those words hit me hard. Sheesh, so those aren't your words then. Hear me out, are you sure everyone was killed? You don't know for sure, do you? <laughs> You're slurring too much, Hemi. I'm not slurring! Hickory, are you alright? A bit. I'm sorry to be such a burden. I overheard, but what Helen said is true. We need to pick ourselves up and think of the future. Well said, Kaede. So, are we sure there are no survivors? About that. 
we couldn't find the bodies of the of any of the blood maidens. Princess. I'm fine. I'm sorry to have hurt you all. Hmm. <laughs> well, guess we still got some juice in us. Little mermaid. Ah, so do you can do you mind continuing where you each left off? Yes, there were actually more of us in Dawn. But we didn't find their bodies there at all. Which means that it's highly likely that they escaped and went into hiding. If we could somehow find them, I'm sure we'll be able to face the merchants again. I see. That would help us retaliate against those monsters again. Alright, here's the pumped up music. The hope music. Yes, I'd like to suggest we use this place temporarily as a base to find the other Blood Maidens. Okay, I, I didn't know what happened there. I was like, okay, uh... Your story holds hope in a decent level of reality. I'm in agreement with you. Me too! We need to have the right people to fight again. Heck, I'm all in it if it means that we're gonna build better defenses. Me too. There's still hope left. Alright then, let's go and find every single one of them. I guess we're in agreement, Hammy. Do you mind if... Ah, no need to say more. You're free to use my place as you please. Thank you. For you, dead Hammer. Now then, let's depart and search for the friends of yours. Good. There's still some hope. Still, the nightmare I saw back at dawn was odd. Maybe it's just me, but when it ran, I felt a surge of evil running through my body. What? Who was that nightmare? Chapter 2 Stop! I need to run. They're going to kill me. But why? Why is everyone after me? I still don't know who this is. Don't. But. Die. What did I do? Why are they coming after me? I need to. <laughs> right, let's go left. Left again. Okay. Let's go right. Run! Finally, get away from those people. I can finally rest. Hmm? Is this place? Medrovaltin? Amazing. After all that searching, finally. It's been a while since I saw people, but no one was in there. Little vermid? Alright guys, this is where I pretty much left off before the dread glitch. So, let's continue on with the story. Wake up. Jack, wake up! Good morning, Jack. Good morning. <laughs> I'm surprised that you'd be dreaming, Jack. So that was a dream. I don't... Mm, it's weird. Because I feel like that wasn't his dream. I feel like he was like looking through somebody else's eyes. It was, cause he was like, why are these people chasing after me? I'm like, who would be chasing after him? And as far as we know in the story, he fell down a giant hole and became Monster Jack. So he wouldn't be running from anybody. So I wonder who it was that he was looking through. But that's my theory, though. 
I know it wasn't a good dream, but I'm sure you'll dream something better soon, Jack. In any case, looks like the day finally arrived. We're finally ready to search for the lost blood maze. No telling what would happen if we're late. <laughs> Jack, I'm a bit busy now. Wait, the time! Oh my. Just a moment, Jack. Wrapping this around me is a lot more painting than it looks. Oof. This takes so much of my time every morning. But I can't avoid it. I am a prince after all. And done. How's it look? I can't believe it's been weeks since all that happened. So weeks have passed since the incident. So how are things, everyone? I just suggest making this our base, but are there any issues? It's great that there are no enemies, but it's lacking a lot in terms of general living. If so, we could use this place to sleep and look for what we need back at the Liberty District. Any thought those, Inzuki? Well, it seems as if we can use this location as a base just fine. Really? We do need to modify the place a bit though. In particular, we need a distant area to sleep in. Electricity and water sources are available, so fixing them up a bit should make them work fine. You can fix them? <laughs> Leave that to me. So finally a time and place for Tekken to shine. I've always been shining, like shining all the time. Oh, we know that. We're counting you, Takumi. You too, Keitsuki. Did you hear that, my princess? Looks like there is hope after all. Yes, Atsu, princess. I believe building a place to sleep will be quite difficult. Which means you need some muscles, right? Leave it to me and Takumi. Huh? Me too? We're about the only ones here who can flex their muscles. Uh, but I have to fix up the infraction here. Why don't you use someone else? Yeah, but who? Ah, finally found you! Hey. Bingo. Hmm? What is it? Why are you looking at me? Hey, Emma, you're really strong, aren't you? Indeed, I do boast having impressive strength. Good, good. Found our laborer. Huh? We're going to let a little girl do manual label? Horrible. Hey, she may be a runt, but she's way stronger than any of us here. Don't you remember what she did back when we played tag? Yeah, she demolished that poor Martian. That Martian screamed. He went, ah! I was like, ooh. <laughs> There's no reason not to have Hamlin help us. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I can help if you want. That's great, Hamlin. I'll check with you later. I'll go ahead and get the electrician water fixed while Hammy does her part. Good! What's with the electricity thing? I can read my manga in brighter area, correct? That's important to you? Now, now, let her be. It must be important to her. Assuming we have infraction operational, what do we do afterward? Our main objective is, is to survive. Once that's secured, we should look for the Blood Maidens. But, we, but both are going to take some time. I'm prepared for it. That's why we should set up our base here. We should also set roles for each of us since we're in for the long haul. Yeah, it wouldn't be effective if we all went searching together. I assume it would be best for 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 me, my princess, and Jack to search for the Blood Maidens. I will go too. My power should prove useful. That's true, but we need someone to guard the area. I can take care of that while you go out on your search. I keep pressing this button. Oh my god. 
I'll also keep an eye out on the area. You never know if one of them comes wandering in here. Are you sure you can handle all that? Don't worry. Don't you worry. I just... Something that comes with guard duty. And I'll make a run for it. Something ain't going right. You girls are going to need as much muscle as possible, especially with all those margins out there. I guess you're going to be carrying a great role for us while we're gone. Don't you worry. I like keeping myself busy anyway. I can leave my minions here if it will help ease worries. Heard that? That's good to know. I'm gonna be modifying you girls' weapons. You're gonna be all over me after seeing my mad mod skills that I learned courtesy of Dawn. I suppose I can use my experience that I am mastering researching the jail and the blood maidens. You You'd be the successor to Professor. I guess you can call it that. I'm sure I can offer invaluable information to you, you blood maidens. I'm gonna prep daily necessities and stuff that may help out on your search. Yeah, you totally look that type of keeping things in order. You got it! And if anyone dare puts the goods out of place, I'm gonna kick their behinds. Um, well, I guess I can fetch water? I can do that. You can be our go-to doctor. Huh? But I can only know how to patch up minor injuries and things. Even that's a major help in this place. I'll make sure to have stuff you need later. Hickory, each one has an aptitude, and having your man having you man our infirmary would be a great help to all. Okay then. If everyone says so, I'll do my best. Everyone. Thank you so very much. No need to thank us. We're all in this together. Haha! <laughs> we have a plan now. Well, for this time, I announce the name of our base of operations. Uh, okay. Let's hear it. Listen in awe. Helms Liberty District. Cool, isn't it? I'm not sure where to start. I don't recall us liberating anything here. I suppose you could say Hamlin was liberated from her labyrinth. I bet she just wanted to toss the word liberated district in. That's not true! Huh? You may be right, Maru. I mean, did you hear young super slur? I wasn't slurring! Well, we are borrowing her place, so I guess we can call it that. Hmm. You should accept the fact that you all like that name. In any case, it's settled. How many limited edition it is? She's like, it's my place, so my name's gonna be put in the title. Hamlin Limited District. I'm surprised myself that I'm already getting used to it. All right, I'm ready. Sorry to keep you waiting, Jack. <laughs> yes, it's time we begin our expeditions. Let's do our best. I have a question, and the thing is, I wonder if when she become a nightmare, is it like permanent? Or is it like whatever the cause was, if you find what the cause was, you can like reverse it and Jack can go back to being Jack. I really hope Jack can go back to being Jack. <laughs> I miss best boy! All that worries me now is Little Mermaid. She hasn't been herself recently. I'm like, yeah, she went back home to find her entire place and everyone she cared about destroyed. Like, that takes a minute to process. <laughs> and she's very sensitive when it comes to life. She's like the healer. Like, so to her, life is like super, 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 super precious in her mind. Like, her even thinking that it to be lost she i, I think it's because she's a healer and she's like super sensitive about it so so yeah she's taking it pretty hard uh i'm really hoping that maybe when she meets the other blood maidens she'll come back to being herself also we lost little red riding hood didn't we 
So where's she at? <laughs> where did she go? Was she at the Liberty District too? Did she get away? Is she still stuck in the cavern? I guess we'll find out. I need to support her, no matter what. Oh. I'm sorry I'm late. Looks like we have everyone here now. Let's begin. We're going to start our search for the missing blood maidens, but... You mentioned that we should search the aquarium ruins first, right? You girls haven't went there before? No, we did long ago. Though, there's no telling how bad the place is now. Hmm, which is why I would like to ask for you all to be very careful out there. Of course we will. After all, if we perish, there wouldn't be anyone else left to fight. Just so you know, it's beyond just losing. We simply want you all to be safe. Yeah, no one wants to see anyone hurt like before anymore. And yet, we need to rely on you all again. I'm truly sorry you have to go through all this. Ah, I see. I didn't know you all felt that way. I'm sorry. We'll be back safe, I promise. I'm sure you'll keep your promise. By the way, how many of them blemins are lost right now? A good question. Besides me and Princess, there were six others in Dawn. Red Riding Hood is one of them. She's the one who was back there when we freed Marmaru. Unfortunately, we lost in all the chaos back then. I remember her hacking away at the Martins, so I'm pretty sure she's okay. Yeah, that little Red Riding Hood is a machine. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have no problem surviving. She she was going through those Martins like it was nothing. Yep, I'm sure of it too. Thank you. Of course, the other person who was there that went missing is Alice. <laughs> yes, I understand, Jack. As you can see, Alice is very important to Jack, so I'd like to find her as soon as possible. Who knows where she ended up? Last time we saw her, she went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs <laughs> and freaking hacked away in a nightmare. Well, I was next to them back in the cell, so I wouldn't mind having her back too. I'm waiting for the scene when they, uh, when Alice and Jack re reunite. It's gonna be so sad. Oh, it's gonna be so sad. Yep, we were like a family. We also had Kaguya. I recall her staying behind the dead Don headquarters. Finally, the three sisters. Uh, finally, the three sisters. Thumbelina, Snow White, and Sleeping Beauty to make six. <gasps> All these Disney princes princesses. Oh my God. But I'm not sure whether those sisters would help our cause or not. Is there a problem? A bit. In any case, I'll do my best. Why wouldn't they help? I'm sure you will. As for the aquarium rooms, is there anywhere th uh, there they would they could hide? Hmm. I'm not sure if there are any real good hiding spots there. But it is close to the former Liberty Edition, so someone may have run away there. Since no one came this way, I think it's to say someone may be hiding there. Looks like we have a bit of hope now. Well then, we'll depart as soon as we're ready. Are you sure? Are you okay, princess? <laughs> no, I'm not, but I don't got a choice, is what that face says. Oh, um, yes, I'm fine. Everyone's doing their best, so I need to do my best too. Is there something on your mind that you'd like to talk about, princess? Oh no, nothing at all. I'm fine, really. Well, if you say so. It's hard to see her face in such an obvious front like that. Little Mermaid can be a bit stubborn at times, but please remember that I'm always here by your side, Princess. Neymar Jack uses Rabbit Hole. This creates a save point and escape route of the desert. Ooh, yes, thank you. I would love to have this ability. Going all the way back to a tent is uh, quite the hassle. Place in the dungeon so you can save her warp. Ooh. 
You can also set save points in certain areas, so create save points as you find them. Note that setting a new rabbit hole will erase any previous rabbit hole that was set. Ah. Oh. This is pretty. Head to aquarium ruins area, the underground, general store, little HQ. Living coach, talk to characters and manage items, manage characters, strength and equipment. Let's see what we can do with strengthening equipment. You can strengthen your gear at the blood weapon factory by using blood crystals gained in battle. Your gear can be strengthened 20 times. Welcome, welcome! Is that it? Anything. This is by manage characters. Change jobs. Want to change jobs. Use job unlock rice and blood crystals to change a blood mage job. When you change jobs, you retain the same level, but stats change according to the job chosen. Also becomes smooth with her magic power. Ah! Various skills are available to each job. So this is like, do I want to make him a mage? Do I want to make him a warrior? Make him like an archer? Like, okay, I see what they're trying to do here. You gain job unlock rights each time you raise the blood means level to a certain point. Once a job is unlocked, you can freely change jobs at any time. I don't think I want to change her. I don't think I want to change anyone's job yet until I get more Blood Maidens. You can give surprise items to any of the blood maids in their rooms. There are two types of surprise items, gifts and interior items. Raise a blood maid's affection by giving them items. You may get items in return too. The level of affection can trigger various events. Open new skills and, and affect the story too. Huh? It can affect that story. Interior items change the blood maid's room decor. Interior items can be freely changed at any time. Interesting. The ones on the right are their rooms that I have yet to like give people to. Maybe. But we'll see. Of course, hers would be the freaking ocean. Let's visit Little Mermaid. Change the design. Do I have anything to change it? Standard bed. I've got nothing to give this poor girl right now. And I have no gifts to get her. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and my theory is that not only are the blood men still alive somewhere, I also believe their so-called professor uh, that was in the Liberated District, I think that person is still alive too, because they didn't find that professor's body. So I think that the professor escaped, probably with the blood maidens, and got out of Dodge, like, really, really quick. So, I'm gonna think the professor's still alive out there, and we'll find them eventually. But until then, we'll do that in the next video. 
And if you would like to see more from this series or like this video, then please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. Bye! See you later!